Hey everybody, my name is Mitchell Pearson. I'm a consultant and a trainer for Pragmatic Works. I've been with Pragmatic Works now for about four and a half years. And I'm excited to tell you about our new data modeling class that we just released at Pragmatic Works. It's important to learn data modeling because there are certain consequences that you can run into when designing both a transactional system as well as a dimensional warehouse. For example, with transactional systems, the application might not be as fast as what it was designed for with inserts and updates, and you can also run into problems with insertion, update, and deletion anomalies within your database, which is something we talk about in the course. And with dimensional models, you can also run into problems where the dimensional model doesn't provide answers to all the questions that you might have wanted to ask the data when you had that design in, in mind at the beginning of that process. So we go through the course and tell you specifically how to go through the four steps of dimensional modeling so you don't run into those problems and then you don't have to go back and redesign that in the future. Yeah, so I would say that this class is going to start off at a beginner level, but because it's six and a half hours long, by the time we get to the end of the course, we start digging into more advanced concepts like parent-child relationships, mini dimensions, and also things like outrigger dimensions as well. Yeah, so I think they're going to get a lot of things out of the data modeling class, but I would say the top five things are going to be things like how to properly design a transactional database in third normal form and then also how to properly define what the business processes are that we want to model for. Third, I would say dimension design specifically, how to, to do kind of the more common dimensions and then how to design more complex dimensions as we get into more of a mature data model. Also, we're going to get into more complex relationships, so we're going to discuss things like many-to-many -many relationships in the course and the different ways to model that. And then finally, I would say the fifth thing is going to be fact table design and how to design the three different types of fact tables, so transactional, accumulating snapshot, and also periodic snapshot. So the thing that I think most people struggle with the most when designing a dimensional model is getting the granularity correct up front at the beginning of the design phase. And that happens, I think, a lot of times because we don't get everybody together within the organization to really define what the granularity is and make sure that that can't be subdivided down any further. And when you don't design that properly at the very beginning, then you get to step two or step three or step four and realize that it's not correct. And then you have to go all the way back to the beginning and you go back to the drawing board. So I would say the part that most people get wrong or not quite correct at the beginning is defining the granularity. I would say that this course offers a depth that really you can't find out there right now. So most courses that you'll find uh, offered by other places are going to be about two to three hours in depth and unfortunately they can't go into as much detail as we're able to go to here in this course because this course is about six and a half hours long. So we're able to cover a lot more concepts and then go into more depth in each of those concepts.